Hello. Uh, I'm going to do, summarize very briefly what Moodle is about and why do you need to use it. So first thing first, Moodle is a learning management system that we are using at AUA. It's an open uh, source software and it's very agile. So if you are a new uh, instructor and you don't know or you are not sure how to use it, just be patient. You will, you will learn how to utilize the tools into your course design. So what is in general Moodle about? How you can use it? Uh, well, Moodle itself uh, is a system where it has tools that you can use to create content, to upload files, to uh, assess students, to collect feedback and then grade the student responses. How you are going to do that? First, you need to decide what type of format you want to use for your course design. After that, you will need to get familiar with the tools, that is, the, with the activities and with the resources that Moodle itself has. Uh, after you will you, uh, understand how your syllabus can be transferred into the Moodle, you can start adding the content. What you will need in this case? In this case, you will first need to upload syllabus obviously, right? So that your students can read the, uh, the syllabus and understand how they are going to proceed, pr proceed with their content. Then you will upload the content that they need to read. You can use either a folder or you can use file to upload just one single file. If you want to make your content more self-paced, then you can use other tools such as book or can be a lesson. Uh, what if, let's say, you want uh, also to assess your students? How you are going to do that? Well, you can use resources that Moodle has. Uh, that is the tools that you can uh, um, you can put in the Moodle. Uh, so, for example, you have decided that you want to give to your students an essay. What are you going to do in this case? You can use an activity that Moodle is suggesting as a tool or you want to test your students just the, uh, and you want to give them a quiz or multiple choice. What you are going to do? Well, Moodle has this option as well. You can use quiz or you can use Turnitin to check uh, what type of sources you, your students have used, uh, if they have paraphrased the content correctly or not. Let's say you have already collected uh, student responses, now you want to get their own feedback about your own course. In this case, you can add uh, tools that Moodle itself has. For example, you can use survey, you can use a feedback tool, which is a very good way of collecting student answers and also collect the data, how they were performing, whether they were happy with the content or not. Uh, by the way, I also want to mention that there is an interactive element in Moodle that you can incorporate into your course and it's again about activities. So Moodle has this magical uh, function called H5P tool that you can incorporate into your own course and it will give you an opportunity to make your quizzes much more interactive. You can add videos, you can add questions inside that videos, students can pause the videos and answer the questions and then proceed with the rest. You can also use Hypothesis, which is a text annotation tool that will let your students simultaneously together with you to annotate the context and also add their own comments, which is a very good way of checking their understanding about the language or about the text. And to sum up, uh, Moodle will also let you to, ch to grade your students. Isn't it fabulous? I think it is because you can decide how you want your grade, student grades to be calculated. You will decide how the grades will be aggregated. And that is the methodology. And then you will let Moodle know that you have these certain elements that Moodle should compare and understand how students uh, did throughout the course what they have received and then it will calculate the total grade and then you can see what the final grade for the student is. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions related to Moodle, you can always get a, get a professional support from instructional designers. Stay well and be connected.